Our relationship with others is the greatest expression of love that God has for us. But this is how God cares for his people, is through his people. And the fullness of the gospel is not just internalizing it, but it's that outward expression. It's how do we respond to uh, the wrestling. Love becomes secondary or tertiary when you're in a transactional narrative that you might see on social media. Um, whereas in God's economy, that's our greatest commandment. <laughs> Being in a relationship is not just to know, not just to read a bio or a quick glimpse of who that person is, but to really know and understand and to have empathy over what that person across the way has or doesn't have. To share in the joy, to share in the struggle, and make them feel what it means to, to help that friend. Students are going to see God working. That's first and foremost. But when they're praying and saying, I've learned this, Father, use me, that is, that is the moment um, that will be transformative for not just that student, but the school. <laughs> if you are athletic or academic first and faith second, then chapel and Bible study is a single scripture society. <laughs> it is sprinkled right on top. But imagine what that school would look like if it became faith first. That would look like a very different school. Service would be endemic in that school. Uh, loving others, caring for the poor. Fiduciary responsibilities would change. What are we investing in? And so what I dream up and what I see is a world where God's people are serving each other, making decisions, whether it's a playwright or a doctor or a lawyer or a politician that has a kingdom view, that has kingdom outlooks. And through the hands of many, nations will change. <laughs>